okay now to add the drive drawer we need to open on design in here what we can search is drawer okay in here in the components search bar drawer so it is here we can change the sides of the drawer where it will appear so if i open this this will appear from the right side let me now create a component for this in the components folder components common called drawer make a file called index.tsx one for styling called i can say drawer if i need it i will use it drawer dot module dot scss make the drawer as a functional component rfc drawer if you wonder how i do rfc and generate a functional component come to extensions search for react snippets just let me use okay which one to use okay, it's not in here so i guess i have to show you directly what i am using in here so i am using this one es7 plus react redux react native snippets install this restart your vs code and it will work let me grab the code for the drawer from in here the typescript code all of these things so just copy add it in here and replace the name of app with drawer or i can say drawer component let me change the name here so we have to export it as well in the bottom as default now it will work the only thing only thing we need to change it the only thing we can change is the placement so if i make this as right this will open up on the right let me show you so now let me come to my github when we click this icon of my profile image we are opening the drawer so what we can do come to top bar index.tsx we are having this image class name this let me how to use it yes that's a question so if i just i think import the component in here so i can say import drawer component or you know drop down drawer component from this route just add it somewhere in here save it we should see some buttons in here so if i click open it is getting opened on the right so what we need is not the button we need to have all the events like placement or not placement open set open in the top bar or we can also create one state in here so i can say const uh, is drawer drawer open set drawer open equals to use state make it initially as false now let me copy set drawer if i click this image in here so on click we are going to set the drawer open or is drawer open to true so that it opens it so mark it as true now pass this state in the drawer component as props let me get it in the drawer component what we need is just assign this is drawer open yes assign this in here at the place of open now click it it is opening we need something to close it so i will add a close button later or just in some time so title is basic drawer we need to change it to this nishant triple six and this so yes i will do that i will do it in some time now we don't need the open state we don't need show drawer or on close or maybe we can have it so what we need is just pass set drawer open as well in this drawer component now copy the set drawer open come in here destructure it from props then just set it in here if it is show drawer it will open else it will close but we only need to close it that is why we are having this as false so this is for on change so we don't need this as well so remove it so if i click it it will open if i click it outside it will close the only problem is the background color of this can be problematic so let me remove button radio and space from art design the imports that we don't need now come to interface folder index 
create an interface for this drawer so i can say interface drawer component so we have two things in here is drawer open a boolean value so make boolean and the second thing we are having is set drawer open so make this as a function save now let me copy this drawer interface just place it in here so it will not throw any dots you also don't need a setter function for the placement so it is in the placement so just leave it at that now let me come to close interfaces so we are having drawer let me import this drawer module in here so i can say import styles from one step back so this will go the styles will go in the drawer as a class name so let me see if i can use it in here or not if i come down we should have a class name yes so let me try this first styles dot drawer main save let me copy drawer main come to this module css or css make the background color as just black to just check what will happen it is not black so i guess we need to use this root class name let's see what happens save let me check click it no it will not work if i add this important property yes it will override if the black is not there i mean if the important is not there we will see white color drawer so yes make it black but it is not black let's make this color whatever that is so i think i have to do this change do the change here no it is too bland if i make this this i think that's fine but what about this color that is outside to fix this background as i mean the color of border is white this bad looking thing we just need to set auto focus as false so it will be true initially i mean defaultly is true so just make it as false now click the icon in here we will not see the border that we are saying previously so in here we are having the username the user i mean the username the name of the user nishant kumar and the profile image so let me add them in this drawer so we are calling the drawer in the top bar so come to top bar in here let me make this as a this component not self closing component but a regular tag opening tag in this we will just pass this stuff so make a div here let me make the right side bar component so i can say right side bar this component inside we will pass it directly make one index dot tsx function component this will be i can say right side bar let me copy i mean let me put this component in the top bar right side bar and then return it as children we don't need to add a div so leave a div in here save so now if i check in here click it we have to also get the children in the drop just like we are having these two props make a prop called children with the same name don't change the name and return it in here then save now let me check they are having right sidebar in here perfect so this is done only problem is change the interface i mean modify the interface so we are having children so just grab children make this as react dot react node save it it will fine it will be fine so now we have to style our stuff in the right side bar so if i make this as a fragment only not anything else what will happen if i check in here we are having some margin at the top okay this is for this is basic drawer so we have to come to sorry close top bar come to drawer come to module just make color as white now let me see make this as important now we have to remove or change the title in here 
so do we have a okay let me check for title in the api title it is react node so if i have no title param in here or prop in here what will happen yes it's now fine our text is on the top so in the right sidebar we need to have our username our name and our profile icon so to get them what we need to do is come to or we can get them from session as well so we have a hook in here called in the main folder the main source folder called fetch session so we also have fetch current user so i think we need to call both of them because one of them will get our name and the other will get our username and our image or something like that so if i come to fetch session we need to import it i can just copy the syntax of this i mean the command to import in the right sidebar import it at the top then destructure the session from our fetch session this will contain our name and our image so if i do a console log of session we should see our name in here so if i open the console open the drawer click it the user is here with the email image and the name so we have to use these things the next thing we need is we also don't need auth so yes close it so we also need the second hook called use or fetch current user so it contains our login which is our email sorry which is our username for example my username is nizan triple six that's why we're saying it in here so import this hook as well in the right sidebar and then just restructure it from this route save before saving let me remove moment from in here because we don't need it save this close this so the current user will contain our username if i click it not the username first thing i can use these details as well like our avatar url directly this also contains our name called nishant kumar so i don't think we need this session in here so i can just remove this second or the first hook that we created or imported now if i click it we are getting this data so let me now first we have the username so we need to grab the username so i can just do current user dot name is the username is login so paste it i mean after the dot save we should be getting our username in here yes we are getting then we have the name so i can make this in a paragraph tag at the end add it replicate this this time we should have our name which is the name key this name add it save it we also need to add the name in this hook so if i open fetch current user we are having login and avatar url also add the name in here so that it gets added in the object and throw or throws no error so we also need to have an image tag so i can make img src and this will contain our avatar url so if i copy current user dot avatar url save it we will have the url of our avatar in here in this github page our github i mean it is very big we have to arrange it so what we need is to add some class names so what we need is to yes create one file for styling so i can say right side bar dot module dot scss let me expand this file structure import this com import this scss file in here import styles from this route now if i copy styles place it in the p tag so i can say class name styles dot username user name if i copy this again add this in here and say this is the name let me style or let me style the image first for image i can say avatar let me first style the image 
on the avatar so we need to make width 40 or 50 px something like that click it it is rounded i mean not rounded it's small now border radius 50 percent so make it rounded just like this perfect the next thing we need is c these are the image or the avatar is on one column this name and username they are on the second column so we need to wrap the p tag both p's in another div or let me tag a section in here section i had the section at the last in here let me check now what we need is come to write module that parent div should have a class name of styles dot write bar just like we make this as write bar at the top level we need to add this write bar display as flex let me check the output they are on a single row let me add a gap of at least 10 pixels yes 10 is fine now the next thing we need is to grab username and change its styling so we need to have the username in here make the color as white smoke check it in here also let me change the font so what would be a good font so if i come to which page should i check now so components we have home we have components the home we have events this where should i get the font this we can use from here we don't need this add it in the username just like we are having and it is done the color should be a little bit grayer so i think this will work yes let me change the font size say 18 px it is big but we don't need this big make it 16 it is now fine copy the name class repeat the same things in here it will be same but the font should be smaller let's say 13 13 is too small make 14 14 is also small make 16 okay i think the fonts are similar the color is not this let me make it as white entirely it is now entirely white now this color of my name this color is a little bit darker so if i check the color in here the color is this copy the color replace it in here as name yes it is now just like this exit what font so we are having our name and i mean i we are having our username and our name but if you see that the icon that we are having is shrink so we need to make sure that we add width of at least 100 percent no this will not work what we need is to make height of 40 px in here as well then do object fit cover and yes it is fine let me check the only problem is the margin on the username should be zero so if i do margin top as zero will it work no so i guess add margin top on this avatar as 5px maybe not 5 maybe 3 yes they are now leveled in a single line just like this we also are having an icon in here to close this drawer so let me now head to this react icons search for close it is a button like this you can use any button in here for closing our drawer so import okay this should not be here they should be in the drawer component which is this drawer so if i come in here import this icon so i can say import ai outline close square from react icons slash ai so we need to render it somewhere so we have children if i add this after children what will happen this is in here yes size of this should be let's say 40 or 30 it's now bigger the only problem is they are not aligned in a single line so yes make a div now add this in here save what we need is to add a class name in here called i can say this as styles dot drawer main no it has been already used so i can make this as 
drawer inner or children something like that so drawer main or drawer inner will be in here and we need to have this thing here display flex and gap of 10 picks and this like i don't think we need gap so remove gap save it yet it is now on the very right in this case we don't need right sidebar or right bar left save come to index we also don't need one extra div in here so just remove it it is now this and looks fine to me so close right sidebar okay in the close icon i think i need to make border as 1px solid 21221 what about this no this will not work it will work on the border only i guess remove it so in the border i think we have a prop here called no we don't have any prop to change the border you only have color here so if i make color as 212121 this will be little bit black so i guess if i make this as fff it will be white so i guess leave this as a white color for now now all we need is to target the set drawer open to false or run this on close function so if i press the button or click it we can say on click on close click the button of close the this will close like the drawer perfectly working so smooth now we need to add these options like focusing your profile your repositories these kind of stuff so let me close these files that we don't need come to right sidebar so we need this stuff so this is one section and then we have another section so if i add some text in here we'll go this will go on the this place so i think we do need a div in here for the top or i can say for the for the top section this section just do right bar in here so our entire right bar will be trapped in a div this is the top level and now if i add the level after top level say medium level medium level where we are having the profile repositories links so if i just do your profile save it they should be in here see similarly we need to make our list of your repositories your projects and such so let me have a p tag in this div copy or keep copying p tag for the name so then we have your repositories then we have projects then we have code spaces then we are having organizations your organizations then we are having stars what else i think we can add one more for gifs github gifs or gifs whatever it is called they should now all should be in a single line i mean like this all we need to do is arrange it so this div should have a class name of style dot middle just make middle section and we can just replace the div with section as well because of seo tags so if i copy middle section come in here just add middle section so we need some margin among them so margin 20 px what about this so yes the margin properties are not 20 we also have some icons around them i mean before them so i will add it next thing we need is to add font size as 20 px to make this as big okay the thing is it will do this so i guess the font should not be changed in the middle section change it in the p tags so give them all a class name of styles dot option let me grab this keep pasting it in all of them so i guess i press option select where i want to place it i mean not here press space paste let's check now yes they are added now option 
should be in here let me make font size as 20 px okay it will not work like that so what i need is to what i need to do is this if we are having right bar what if i remove gap from in here what will happen nothing will happen so i guess make width as 100 percent how they are related i don't understand yes so yes we don't need to have space between on the right bar yes now it's fine i don't know why i added it so currently it's fine and done so save it now we need to have a margin among them also make margin 20 px 20 and 0 or shorthand so 20 is too much try to make it 10 this looks fine to me the font size should be not 20 18 save yes it looks fine to me okay if it looks fine then it is fine now change the color the color should be white smoke color white smoke what about this it is still too much so drag the marker to a little slight darker variant of white let's say two one two and such no a little bit more this looks fine yes it is fine fonts also smaller make it 16 because that's how i see it in here one more thing that i want to do is add margin as not 10 say 30 because we have a lot of margin in here i mean not in here add it in here so do margin 40 top 0 on horizontal levels also add a padding of i can say 10 px now we have a divider between your profile so we need to have them import divider component from divider com just place this divider in between the p tag of your profile save it let's check too much to handle okay divider is causing some issues so what i need to do is not have divider just have an hr tag which is simply a horizontal line this looks fine to me to make this go all the way to the right so in the right sidebar module add the width as 300 pf so that it spans like this in here now we need the okay we know we don't need divider import remove it from in here we are having my profile yes in the hr we can customize it by giving it a class name of styles dot hr line if i copy hr line come to right bar module root css border color in it so if i check or if i change this to border color as red it will change now make it as this color i guess yes this looks fine so same thing add it in the second hr so it has been changed to this color it looks now fine to me we also need to give i can say a cursor of pointer on the p tags save they should have now pointer cursor if i hover them on the option no it does okay cursor as pointer not color yes they are now having pointer cursor the color is white so change it to white pure white it's too white so make this color 15 is or it will be better what about the font so i can use the same font in here i can just use it globally on the entire sidebar so add it in the right bar in here everything will change but it is not so on the right bar okay not on the right bar let me make a class name in here called styles dot right bar main now using this class name we can set it copy the font set it globally in here save this should now work yes it is now working so to have the icons in here we need to add react icons let me bring it to the front first we have your profile icon so search for user so let me try this ai outline user copy this import the icon react icons slash ai now this icon will go on the profile so before your i can say your profile text render the icon in here let's see what happens the icon of profile is here so just make this as a div then add a span in here covering your profile text 
so in the option where it is just make display as flex align items center let me add a gap among them a little bit gap you can say 10 pixels is it fine yes it looks fine the size of the icon make it a little bit bigger so i can say size 20 yes 20 looks fine to me perfectly perfect so one thing we can do is we are repeating all the p tags in here let me create an array so we had a folder called let me check i made it for the icon colors i mean language colors so constants make a file called sidebar menu sidebar items or i can say right bar items dot tsx so we need to make an array here export const right bar i i can say right bar options make an array in this array let me make an object first object first we will have the option in here it will be a text so i can just make the text as your profile in here we also need the icon so let me grab the icon of profile of the user stick it in here add one more key in this first object called icon this will be this icon that we are having ai outline user the size of it as well replace this save we need to add a bunch of these so how many are having one one two three four five six seven add seven objects so we are having one two three four five six seven let me rename this or these let me now have right bar options in here import right bar options don't forget to export it because we are using it as a module then just map through it through all of it so i can just map or first let me just yes map through it so i can say right bar options dot map you can say option and we are going to return this div so cut the div paste it in here save it now in the span we need to write option dot this thing called option i guess the option name should not be here i can say right bar as an object that we're creating right bar dot option save it the options will be here the options name then at the place of the icon we can simply turn right bar dot icon it will be the same that it was previously now the only problem is we need to add the hr tag between the profile but we are adding it collectively so what we can do is we need to check if right bar option dot filter we need to filter through it filter let's say item if the item dot option is not equal to your profile then map through it in this case we will see all of them except the your profile because we are filtering it now what we need is to grab the first object from the right bar option so i can say right bar option dot or right bar option zero i can say option this will cover the name for profile about the second thing which is called the icon i can first let me make the div in here now at the place of option this will go in the span and about the icon we will use right bar icon or right bar option zero question mark dot icon now this will be like this it is now fine because we are choosing the first index i mean zero index of this array now this should be perfect yes it is perfectly perfect correctly correct we are having okay where is the icon of this the width is 350 if i make it 300 the icon then comes the last thing let me do is add the sign up button in here also and yes we also need to add this stuff that i forgot to add so let me not end the video let me just add them so what we need is to have option where is it when we hover it 
the background color should change so i can just make it as let's red to show you okay not directly when we hover it only save now hover of them we will see the color changing now we can add 10 in here as padding now it looks great the next thing we need to do is make border radius as 5 pixels because they are rounded if you check properly and one more thing padding should be 5 will it work if we are having 5 because it is very small the height is small yes it works now what we need is the color of this so if i copy this color replace red yes this looks pretty much the same that we have on github it is looking great to me why don't i just reword the code and get the margin back but this time the margin will be 5 and 0 because it will be good to have a little margin among them like this to make them attractive and make this as 7 this looks also fine yes so lastly let me add a button of logout or sign out after this section or in the section as well we can do let me repeat the hr line and add one sign out option so i can just copy one span tag and in here say sign out save this will be in here sign out but the problem is we need to have this in their div for the styling purposes so remove class name of i mean remove icon make this as sign save let me now check yes this looks fine to me now sign out is here we can click it to sign out so we have function to sign out from this page so if i come to pages index we have a we have auth check auth so we are having sign in function just like that we are having function of sign out from next auth react so imported in this component right sidebar component we only need sign out function not sign in function and then just assign the button of i mean this function to this span like this if i click this we will be signed out now we can remove this from in here and the function as well the function import save it we can try this click sign out we are getting signed out the only problem is we are getting signed out only when we will click the text not the div so if i sign in again let me show you what i mean if i click this it will not sign out this div so better to have this event on this div in here now if i click in here we will be signed out sign in again with github and we are done for now